Well, are you still trying to come up with a good New Year's resolution? If so, we have a few ideas that might help. Just a few. Yeah. Fox 43's Sire Williams joins us live in York County with a look at some hobbies, hacks, and ways that you can live healthier. Good morning, Sire. Good morning, Alex and Gabby. So that's right. If you are looking for a few hobbies, some things to uh, achieve your goal, guess what? I got you covered. And you could probably do it locally if you're here in your county. So right now I'm joined by Joan Carpenter. She is the owner of You and Me Yarn Shop. Can you tell me, what is You and Me Yarn Shop? Oh, You and Me Yarn Shop is a local shop for knitters and crocheters to get supplies and support and really just to have fun. <laughs> So we were talking earlier and crocheting has really gotten so popular. Can Absolutely. you tell me why th why does this make a good hobby? Oh, it makes a good hobby for all sorts of reasons. First off, the colors are beautiful and inspiring. It's also really kind of therapeutic. It gives you something to do with your hands, mm. maybe focus your attention on something positive. And at the end, you have a useful product. Nice. And you even told me about the mental health aspect. Absolutely, yeah. It helps yeah. you clear your mind. It does. Maybe de-stress after work. Yeah. Or maybe, you know, if you mess up a stitch, you can take out some anger. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. So can you tell me, if for the people at home that want to get involved in this and just start off with something, can you give me a little example of what that would look like? So if you come here for private lessons, we typically start you off on either a washcloth or a scarf. And that sort of depends on your interest level and your, um, your age. So when we have younger adults in, we definitely start with things like a washcloth. Mm -hmm. And if we have more adult age people, we start them off on a scarf usually. Okay. So am I like a scarf or a washcloth person? Oh, you're definitely a scarf. Oh, okay. So let's take a look. Let's okay. see how that would be done. So it's really pretty easy. You go into the needle and you wrap and then you pull it through and then you just pop it off the other end. So you go okay. behind, in, over, wrap, through, and off. Okay. Do you want to try it? Maybe. <laughs> okay, let's give it a try. All right. So I'm going to hold it up here so you guys can have a good look. Right, and then you said in, oh, other way. Go into the stitch. Oh, into the stitch. Yep. See, I'm already not I'm nah, following. Don't worry about it. All right, then we're going over. Yep. This way? Yeah, just catch it right like that. <laughs> <laughs> I need a lot of help here. <laughs> Go, everybody starts someplace. Awesome. And then, and then right out the door. Out yep. the door here. Awesome. Well, we thank you. Definitely teach you to knit. Thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Hey, listen, Alex, Gabby, if you're looking for a scarf, uh, I'm going to need about four months and I'll be able to get it to you. <laughs> so if we put in an order for like winter hats by the end of the hour, you're saying that's not going to happen? Maybe end of year. Okay. Don't quote me on that, though. <laughs> <laughs> Give her an entire year. Yeah, you, okay. You got most of it. All right, Sire, that looks fun and great for people at home to learn more about that. Thank you.